blast it. Catch this. Shawty's wanna talk, cause the man is on an X list. That he wanna ball. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the top five moves. We are doing single leg finishes. So I'm really excited about it. Let's get into it. So you guys know I've been repping barbell apparel for months now, and that stays true to today as their quality and performance is completely unmatched. All the clothes are perfect for getting a nice workout in or literally just lounging around as they are comfy, but everything is form fitting because everything is form fitting. Everything literally feels tailored. Need I say you can squat heavy squat in their jeans. That's crazy. And if you want to shop my favorite items from Barbell Apparel, you can go shop in my collections at the top of the link in the description below. Thank you to Barbell Apparel, and let's get back to the top five moves. First up, single leg is probably the most shot move in wrestling, and it's probably the easiest to take guys down because one leg is way easier to get than two legs. So immediately, first up, we're going to go to the move, which is just a sweep single, but then we're just going to go with the standard kick. This is just like a classic sweep single with a clean finish. So immediately, I'm gonna be hands on craft, maybe moving him around a little bit. When I get this foot to step, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lower my levels, sweep single, now I'm driving him up, driving him up, driving him up. Now this is the key right here. Go all the way to the ankle, boom. This is like our standard. This is where we wanna be. This is kind of, it's called hand to heart right here. And there's a lot of different things I can do, whether it's I can reach under here, grab these tendons and rip them back and kick them. Or one thing, which is this move, it's kind of called the the sweep kick and so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have both my feet come together and at the same time I'm going to lift this up kind of punching it up and he's going to start jumping and I'm going to get him off the ground and at the same time I'm kicking his back leg so that he's going to trip so if it's done, if it's done correctly it'll look like this so once again just getting on your single leg boom head in, head in the side head in the side come back Hand to heart, boom, I got him dead to rights here. So a lot of times he's gonna be pushing on me too, like on my chest, it's like it's hard to get, it's hard to get there. So I'm gonna slap my hand away, and I'm just gonna come right in. Come right in, I'm gonna lift up, kick, come right down, and secure your points. So that's a sweet single, to the classic standard kick. Number two is kind of the high leg shelf. This year I've been using this a lot more, and this has helped me uh, in the room score a lot more, and I have to utilize this in my matches. Same thing, get on a single leg, boom, drive him up, drive him up. So this is the same thing if maybe I can't, I can't do, um, put my arm under, I can't kick his leg, it's hard, he's too far away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing where I reach under, oh, check this out. I'm, height, I'm heightening his foot here, so he's more like in a split, and I'm just gonna slowly climb up his leg, slowly climb up, and I can reach the back of his head, I can trip him with my back leg now. But it's all about kind of getting him more in that flexible position where it's going to be harder for him to defend. So once again, instead of jumping and kicking, I'm reaching under and I'm pushing up and I'm doing that like instantaneously. Instantaneously. Just that movement right there. I'm on his knee. I can walk around the mat even. Eventually he's going to be a trip. I'm going to cover him. I'm going to secure points. I've been using this a lot and this move has been really beneficial in scoring more takedowns. Number three, we are gonna do with the wizard finish. So a lot of times when I shoot single legs, they're gonna sprawl on me, they're gonna wizard hard. So this is the wizard, it's where Crack is kind of on his own thigh a little bit here. A lot of the times is when people are in on the single leg, they like to circle, 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 but ultimately that makes it more easy for him to defend and it's making it way tighter. So instead of just circling, circling, what I wanna do is I wanna come in front of him I want to put my knee kind of right next to his, his knee right here. And all I do is I'm locking above the knee, post it out here as I lift up and get into this position. Now I'm off the ground. I'm looking to score just like that. Knee to knee, lift up. I'm going to stand up. I can put my hand on his head. I can kind of run him down a little bit. But just getting, getting his leg off the mat, it makes it so much more easy. And it doesn't make this wizard so tight. It doesn't make it so tight. So come in. Lift it up, lift it up, and run it down. Get your take down. That's how to score when a guy defends a single leg. Number four goes right into kind of the same wizard position, uh, but it's kind of a different finish. This is if a guy is more stingy and not wanting to give up his take down. So I shoot, wizard hard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that same thing where I'm gonna lift him up. And I'm just gonna come all the way to his feet. And immediately it's like, this is the opposite side that you want it on. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kick on his back ankle, and at the same time, I'm coming over with my hand, hitting him on the side of the head, and running him down. 
And sometimes this might happen if you just get in on a shot and maybe just pick it up, whatever. And instead of this side, remember the hand to heart, instead of this, it's gonna be over here. But a lot of times, it could be easier to get back points on this guy when you're in this position. So immediately, hit his head, chop him down. And I can even like work in like weird things like this. Just manhandle him, score points, get your back points. But that's kind of like the inside trip, just a different grip. Make sure you're hitting that head hard and as you just keep pushing forward. Number five, we're gonna do a cutback. So it's a single leg like setup. You set up with a single leg, but then we're gonna kind of cut back and almost do kind of a double leg on him. So if I shoot my super single leg, he sprawls, he sprawls. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna knee slide, I'm gonna knee slide all the way across. So knee slide, and from here, you know I can like double off, I can still stand a single, and just roll it down. But there's a lot of different positions in wrestling when you can, can cut back. Um, this is one that you can definitely do if maybe he can, if you're if you're like high on a shot and it's hard for him to sprawl. Instead of you can't do this when we're down here. It's all the way like this. There's just no way I can cut back. So this is a maybe you can't stand up with it. You're having a hard time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knee slide, cut back. So I'm gonna knee slide, cut back, and then score that way. Especially in freestyle too, get like four points, lift them all the way up, drop them on his head. That's move number five. It's time for bonus move. Number six, this move I hit multiple times this year. It's, I call it the blast single leg. There's nothing else to describe it. It sounds cool and I guess it looks cool, especially when you hit it in a match. But a lot of times late in the match, if maybe guys are just faking, faking, he's gonna fake hard with this leg. I'm gonna drop down, drop my levels, and as soon as he fakes, I'm literally gonna shoot the single, I'm gonna run my head into him. And I'm just gonna keep the weight going forward. So he fakes down, boom. Whether I just kind of snatch up that leg, or sometimes he'll just fall because a lot of times his leg will be just straight. There's no like, it's like a table. So same thing. Rest in your rest in your leg. Rest in your leg. Just driving him. You don't really need two legs. That's why it's a blast single leg, but. That's a fun one. So try these out. Let me know how it works. That has been the top five wrestling moves from the single leg position, single leg finishes. Now this is only the start to bring back the top five moves. I know that I've kind of sprinkled in some top five moves videos here and there, um, but if you guys don't know, that's kind of my biggest you know series on the channel, which I'm looking to bring back. And and I lost like my uh, like mics, like my, my my small mics, which I'm so mad about. I think they're at home, um, but I'm so sorry. The sound was probably atrocious. But now also because it is the off season, you guys know this is the best time to get closer to accomplishing your goals for the next year, especially now that it's freestyling. Greco season with state and Fargo qualifiers coming up. I highly encourage you guys to get on the attack app. This app designed for wrestlers and almost like turns your life into a video game. Like you literally have your own video game stats. Whether you wanted to be guided through your endurance, mentality, nutrition, you got to check out this app. That will be linked in the description below as well. So let me know what you guys think of these top five single leg moves. Um, I highly encourage you guys, please try these out and let me know in the comments, any other single leg finishes you guys would like to see and other top five moves that you would also like to see next. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me on the Patreon. Please like this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys next video.